What is a dangerous level of A1C? Welcome back to our channel, The Diabetes Blog. I'm your trusted diabetes expert. Today, we'll be discussing a topic that's crucial for anyone managing diabetes. What is a dangerous level of A1C? A1C is a vital measure of diabetes control, so let's dive deeper into this topic. But before we begin, make sure to hit that subscribe button and click the notification bell to stay updated with our latest content. To understand what a dangerous level of A1C means, it's important to first know what A1C is. A1C refers to glycated hemoglobin, a measure of the average blood glucose levels over the past two to three months. It is reported as a percentage, representing the amount of glucose attached to hemoglobin in red blood cells. The higher the A1C, the poorer the diabetes control. The American Diabetes Association, ADA, recommends an A1C below 7% for most adults with diabetes. However, the target A1C may vary depending on an individual's circumstances. It's important to work closely with your healthcare team to determine an appropriate target for your specific case. Now, let's discuss the different A1C ranges and their implications. A healthy individual without diabetes typically has an A1C level below 5.7%. If your A1C falls within this range, it indicates good blood glucose control and a lower risk of developing diabetes-related complications. Moving up the scale, an A1C between 5.7% and 6.4% is considered prediabetes. This means you're at a higher risk of developing type 2 diabetes. Prediabetes is a wake-up call to take action and make necessary lifestyle changes, such as adopting a healthy diet, increasing physical activity, and managing weight to prevent or delay the onset of diabetes. Now, when we talk about a dangerous level of A1C, we're primarily referring to those with diagnosed diabetes. Generally, an A1C above 8% or 9% is considered high and poses a significant risk for complications. However, it's important to note that the danger level may differ depending on an individual's age, overall health, and other medical conditions. Let's explore the potential dangers associated with high A1C levels. Prolonged elevated blood glucose levels can lead to various complications, including cardiovascular disease, kidney disease, eye problems, nerve damage, and more. These complications can significantly impact your quality of life and even become life-threatening. It's crucial to understand that managing diabetes is a lifelong commitment. Consistently high A1C levels indicate poor diabetes control, which increases the risk of complications. However, it's essential not to panic if your A1C is above the target range initially. Instead, use this as an opportunity to reassess your diabetes management plan and work with your healthcare team to make necessary adjustments. Effective management strategies may include medication adjustments, lifestyle modifications, and increased monitoring. Your healthcare team will guide you in setting realistic and achievable goals to bring your A1C within a safer range. Remember, it's a journey, and with commitment and support, you can improve your diabetes control. Now, let's address a common question, how frequently should you check your A1C? The ADA recommends checking your A1C at least twice a year if you meet your target range consistently and have stable diabetes control. However, if your A1C is consistently above the target range, or if your treatment plan changes, your healthcare team may recommend more frequent testing. Regular monitoring of your A1C is essential to track your progress and determine the effectiveness of your diabetes management plan. It provides valuable insights into whether your current strategies are working or if adjustments are necessary. Finally, let's discuss how you can lower your A1C level and achieve better diabetes control. The cornerstone of managing diabetes is a combination of healthy eating, regular physical activity, and appropriate medication if needed. Here are a few key tips. 1. Follow a well-balanced diet. Focus on whole foods, including fruits, vegetables, lean proteins, and whole grains. Limit your intake of processed foods, sugary snacks, and beverages. 2. Engage in regular physical activity. Aim for at least 150 minutes of moderate-intensity aerobic exercise per week, along with strength training exercises at least twice a week. 
3. Take medications as prescribed. If you're on diabetes medications, ensure you take them as recommended by your healthcare provider. Remember, medications are meant to complement healthy lifestyle choices, not replace them. 4. Monitor your blood glucose levels. Regularly check your blood glucose levels as directed by your healthcare team. This will help you understand how your actions and choices affect your blood sugar levels. 5. Seek support. Connect with a diabetes educator, support groups, or online communities to find encouragement, share experiences, and learn from others managing diabetes. Wrapping up today's discussion, it's crucial to understand the significance of A1C and what a dangerous level may imply. High A1C levels can increase the risk of complications. But with proper management and support, you can bring your A1C within a safer range. Remember, your healthcare team is your greatest ally in managing diabetes. Work closely with them to set realistic goals, create an effective management plan, and monitor your progress. Diabetes management is a journey, and your commitment to a healthy lifestyle will go a long way in achieving better A1C levels and overall well-being. That's all for today's video. If you found this information helpful, don't forget to give this video a thumbs up and share it with others who may benefit. Also, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more informative content on diabetes management. Thank you for watching and take care of your health. Remember, knowledge is power, and together, we can conquer diabetes.